Okay, so I haven't uh, took a bit of a break. It's feeling very tired. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> This is on the 27th. Uh, Someone's gonna read this. I don't even know like what I wrote down. The cult wants us to kill each other. They may be waiting for the Elohim to come back. Let's see what this says. Oh, this is about the uh, NATO planning to uh, send troops to Ukraine. So maybe the uh, the cabal wants Russia and the West to fight each other and get into a nuclear exchange. So, you know, I believe this planet is um, oh, let me put it this way. I believe human beings are a resource. Humans are a resource. What they want from humanity, um, I guess I will. I guess the thing that really, what they really want, or what they really value about humanity as a resource, is our, uh, what I call the worship DNA. It's the, it's the fact that human beings can be, we have a, uh, it's like they want humans to worship or show allegiance or loyalty to them so as a resource if you if you can get human beings to, to believe in you or your ideology or your cause if you can get humanity or a human being to believe in you then you've got one of the best one of the most uh, useful resources because that very human being who believes in you or your cause can be a great foot soldier, a worker. They will they will climb mountains for you. So all you have to do is get them to believe in you. So they are fighting for our hearts and minds. And once you got people to believe in you, you can raise a whole army, and the army will die for you. Oh, you can uh, uh, you can have a workforce that will build a pyramid. <laughs> so, uh, as a resource, what uh, people who understand this, or people who created humanity, let's say aliens, or intel like non-human, like spiritual beings, or whatever, what they want from us is our allegiance. This is why I think you have lots of religions and stuff like that, because each, this is what they want. They created humanity because they, 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 they want us to fight their wars. They want us to do, to build their infrastructure. All you have to do is get a human being to believe in you, and you've got one of the most powerful resource in the world, in the universe, maybe robots <laughs> that will uh, do your work, do your fighting. And on this planet, you've got uh, various groups, maybe human groups, leaders, politicians, uh, religious figures, maybe even like non-human intelligences who are, who are living under the earth in 
or on the in the oceans or under oceans or off planet they're all competing for him humans to believe in each one of their causes and then you can get humans to do anything for you so uh what i would say is humans need to recognize that they are a, <laughs> seen as a resource by these other humans and other beings and not to allow themselves to be used and manipulated but it's very difficult because we really want to uh, worship or believe in someone we're looking for a savior where it's a celebrity or a you know, like all these trump supporters <laughs> they think trump is going to save them or you get religious people you know believing in god or jesus or the biden <laughs> or some ideology or some celebrity we are all we are all made programmed to believe in someone or something and this makes us a useful uh, tool to be used for uh, to promote the agendas of various other interests um this is a dilemma because if you are an individual that also makes you vulnerable to exploitation because uh, you know you have strength in numbers uh so how do you combat this i guess i guess my uh, answer is just be aware that these people are fighting for your quote hearts and minds and they want to use and manipulate you so don't fall for some don't fall for a person don't fall for an ideology think for yourself trust in your own judgment practice practice judging practice see if you we're so used to taking orders and following rules so it's it's important we practice our innate capacity to make judgments and over time our capacity to make intuitive or more you know judgments will become better um and maybe if you need to achieve a goal that requires numbers you set out clearly what the goal is so figure out who is your enemy or adversary and strategize a way to achieve the specific goal don't worship the individual or the ideology but maybe you you know become aware of the rules of the game uh become a player rather than a pawn <laughs> uh i don't know it's another thing is um being human is, means that there are other beings who are actually smarter than us like like aliens for instance you know this is a aliens exist and you know like in these these non-human interdimensional entities they're smarter than us and they are so they we are kind of vulnerable so we can't do all the heavy lifting ourselves we cannot play the role of god because we're not at the top of the totem pole so in that case what we need are allies we need allies cuz not everyone in the higher realms is just like a you know, there are good there are there are beings who are allies to humanity or who can be allies to various fra- factions of humanity so you got to you, you got to find allies not only amongst humans but amongst other non-human intelligences as well so yeah Where do I just? Uh, what's this? Oh, I mean, this is. I'm gonna have to make lots of different videos because. Uh, oh, that's just the same thing. Uh, anyway. Let me uh, choose what's the next one. Oh, this is oh, this is what I was thinking about. Uh, 
I want to sp I have to split this video up into many pieces. Oh, oh! This is talking about how different religions might be like all the uh, originators of humans' religions might be extraterrestrials, aliens. Uh, you know. Unfortunately, unfortunately, humanity has a worship gene that, that makes us susceptible to manipulation by our gods. Whether that be aliens, spirits, other humans, or politics, ideologies, humans need to learn to stop giving in, giving in to their innate tendency or desire or need tendency or desire or need or programming to worship something or someone they perceive to be their betters yeah well, i think that's Uh, oh yeah, maybe I'll uh, uh go uh, cut this paste it up here. Something about my last video. Hmm. I uploaded my last video twice. At first, uh, after the first upload, the video did not appear on my channel content page. I thought it might have been lost. I uploaded it again. Both videos eventually appeared. Are they monitoring reviewing my content before it gets published, or is this just a benign technical error? Call me paranoid. But given the world we are living in, this may be warranted. Oh man, how much... Oh, I think I'll just stop. I'm tired. Uh, I have to like... I can't... Uh, I, I, I get tired of making these videos, so... Uh, 